D to D N Y Real World HVAC Simplified, and I'm going to show you how I located a leak in this video. I'm going to show you how I found a leak with my field piece DR82. So, yeah, right now it's in turbo mode. I guess that's that's the most sensitive. And just so you guys know, I've already pinpointed the leak. Okay. I know where it's at. You see all the oils? All the refrigerant oil on the line. All the way up. And you would think it's leaking down here. But there's nothing going on down here. I have this thing on turbo mode right now. It's on T. And T stands for turbo mode. It's like very, very, very sensitive. Nothing is going on down here. In spite of all the oil you're seeing, nothing is going on. Okay. All that oil. Usually we use oil is refrigerant leak, right? But this oil I think came down on the pipe over the years. So this is where the leak is at. You can still see the oil over there, but look, this is where the leak is at over here. Right there so it's not the pipe of the pipe up top the suction pipe it's pretty dry it's pretty clean there's no oil in that but it's on the bottom pipe the liquid line so if I go Let's go again so you can see it with the lights off. Steady. Okay, let's change it to uh, to low sensitivity. Okay, that's the highest sensitivity. And the battery is getting weak on this side, you can see. It's getting low. So confirmed. Because even in the lowest sensitivity, I'm going off right there. Confirmed. Alright, let's go back to the top pipe and try that one. Nothing is happening. That pipe is good. Yeah. Place the pipe in the bottom. And yeah, that ain't do nothing. That ain't it. Once I go to the bottom, it started already. So the pipe in the bottom clearly is the one that has a leak. If I go back at the top pipe, nothing. Wait, wait. Nothing. But if I go down here, instantly. Up top. Well, obviously, the refrigerant is rising as well, so. Nothing is going on there. It's just a, a gas rising from this pipe, or the vapor rising from this pipe. I could sit right here. It's not on constantly or steady. It's not on, I mean, we're getting a little bit of flash or a spin off from the bottom pipe, but right there you can see not, not, nothing going on. I'm touching the pipe. But if I go down here, I can leave it there, it will never stop. Will it stop? Well, it's going longer. Nonetheless, the leak is confirmed on here. I can see the oil and everything. I mean, potentially up top could have a leak too, but I rather doubt it. This is where it's at. It is staying on, baby, for mad long. I go in the middle here. 
Nothing. 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 Uh, okay. What do you guys think? Do you guys think this pipe up top is leaking too? I don't think so. Because there's no oil trace. I'm going to verify it in a moment with a big blow. I think it is the vapor just rising from down the bottom. Okay, so off with that. I'm going to turn this off right now and charge it up. But the battery is low. Turn that off. Okay. Now, I'm going to use this bad boy right here to pinpoint. Pinpoint that leak. Woo! There you go. That's obvious. See that, guys? Comment in the comment section. This is dope. Here you go. That's so obvious. Look at that. That's a. That's there goes your leak. That was so easy. And the system is the system is still running, just so you know. It's on right now. It's on. Here's another thing you could do. Stuff in your hand like this. But you don't need to look at that. There's no point in doing that. But you can do that and then put it under like that. Or better. I'm gonna do it at the top as well. I wanna see up top because you're gonna bubble up up top. I think up top is good. I don't think it's going to be leaking up top, but down here, certainly. Look at that. This thing is pissing. Like crazy. And all that oil traveled down the, over the years, I guess. Traveled down the pipe, and you would think it's leaking down here, but it's not. I mean, it's mad oily down here. Mad oily. But the sensor didn't, the detector didn't go off down here. I'm gonna cut this open. This is a straight pipe. I don't feel a joint back here. This is a straight pipe. Straight copper. That's all it is. So the oil came down. You can see like it's mad oily right here. Look at that, mad oily. So the oil drained down, came down the pipe. This is soft copper. As you can see, if you know, if you're a pro, you know that's soft copper. So there's no joint there. This just came out. This will back out. So the pipe just came out, one swoop, sweep all the way down, straight down. That's soft copper. You know, joint here. Get me a knife and cut this open, but there's no joint here. The leak is right here. There is your leak. There is your leak right here. And I don't think up top is leaking at all. And up top is good. Up is good. Remember, if you like this video, comment in the comment section. And if you're a preferred member, you're getting this first. Yeah, up top is definitely good. Up top. Not getting any leak up here. Up top is good. It's at the bottom. That's crazy. It's a good clip too. It's coming at a good clip. On the bottom. Yeah. So I think I found it. What do you guys think? I think I found it. Turn my knee ball on. This is pretty bright. Top is good. And the bottom is where it's at. You can see that joint is like shady solder, and that's soft solder. 
Up top is pretty solid though. I'm not gonna mess with up top. I'm not gonna mess with it. That's pretty solid. All right, again, I'm gonna close this video off, but I just wanted to show you guys, you know, leak check. Let me check this one, let's see this one right here. I want to see this to be fine. But again, the system is running right now, so the back pressure is rather low. I'm gonna show you the back pressure. All right, you saw the suction temperature. I'm gonna show you the back pressure. So maybe if I turn it off, where the pressure is equalized, I'm gonna show you the pressure. Hold on, stay tuned. So here it is. Real Royal Age VAC style. So I use that as a fill piece. I'm gonna charge it right up. There's a manual. There's a main the sensitivity. T is turbo. Turbo is the extremely sensitive. And then obviously got medium low. And here's an here's a high sensitivity, which is recommended for most situations. So the same right there. But um Turbo could give you false reading. So medium low, I went to low, so low is the lowest sensitivity and it was going like crazy, so yeah. This thing did a job. I'm gonna plug it in so it can charge up. i we use the outlet right there. The charger. And here's a tip. You don't wanna leave this thing fully charged. You wanna give it at least 50% for storage. Otherwise you'll, you'll, ruin, you'll ruin the battery. Okay, so if you're not gonna use it for a long time, usually you don't use this like every single day. So what you wanna do is leave it like 50%. That's the best spot. Don't leave it empty. Don't leave it full. Leave it stored at 50%. So there is your charging cable. It's like a regular USB cable. And I think that's like a Android, Android plug. That's where it's on the other hand. So I guess you can use your regular USB charger to charge this. And what's the battery in this? The voltage. Let's see. I think you can. If you know that you can use a regular USB that you charge your phone with on this, comment in the comment section. But I think you can. It looks like the same thing. I mean, the cable looks pretty much the same. So there it is. It's charging. It says charging. That's it. Pretty cool. Um, I don't know. You guys, comment in the comment section if you think we can use. I think it's like five volts on the. Uh, yeah, it says output five volts. So yeah, I think you could probably use your regular phone charger. I didn't want to use your regular phone charger on this. Comment. All right, let me show you the condenser real quick, and I'm gonna close this video off. Because if you're still here, you're special. thermostat and do that in the thermostat it's probably easier that way yeah okay, this thing is probably like corroded because it's next to the beach right I'm not even gonna pull this out I don't need to it's gonna go to the thermostat and turn it off let it equalize and I can see what we got I guess I could just pump this pump this down pump this down and then do the repairs because it's on the liquid line right here. So if I just if I just pump this down, close this valve right here, and then pump it down and close this valve right here, then I could do the repairs and just vacuum the indoor unit on the line and then open the gas. That's what I'm gonna do. Comment in the comment section what you would do. Okay. Okay. So where's the thermostat? There it is right here. It's gonna turn the cooling off. So cooling is off. All right. And then I'm gonna see what's gonna happen with uh, with the low side. I could have just I could have just done that. Turn my 
my Nebo off. There's a light from the camera. So now with standing pressure, the low side is exposed to higher pressures, right? Because you saw when it was running, it was only at a, of in the, like 56 psi. So now we're standing. This is going to get lower, and that's going to get higher. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it's still not leaking. Up top is good, and it's it's leaking away even while it's off. Standing pressure in the bottom. Um, I hope there's no other leaks in this thing though. You know, I guess I could like once I fix this, I'll pressurize it and see if it's gonna hold with nitrogen. I'm so close to the after right now. You guys like it? Give it a thumbs up. And like I said, this unit here, when you like right now, once it reaches like about fifty percent. 50% I'm going to stop the charging because I don't use this regularly so I want to keep it stored at around 50% all the time that's the best way to keep these batteries um, you don't want to keep this thing fully charged all the time because then it's going to like ruin the battery you know what I'm saying it just won't hold and if you leave it empty also also a problem but leave it in the middle that's perfect I'm out of here